All right, class, here we are for the exciting conclusion of the week in Lesson 13, where you'll take all of that hard-fought information that you researched probably the last couple days, and you apply it into a presentation of your choosing, but you're about to see my wonderful slideshow. So, enjoy. Let's go. All right, class, so as you can see in our lesson for the day, there's only one thing that you need to accomplish, and that's create the presentation that summarizes the answers from your questions in the previous lesson. So work-wise, this should be a pretty quick lesson for you. If you want to take extra time, be my guest. I love looking at quality work that looks really awesome. But I just want to remind you, if you're trying to stick super close to how long everything takes, you should make sure you get the pictures in there and the information in there. And don't fuss too much about how perfectly things are. Like when I was doing mine, I did some real little rearranging, moved some things, resized them. That's not you. Don't worry about it. It's not how you're getting graded. Okay. So, the things that you should know uh, when you're planning your presentation, the f you should have four slides. The first one is name your topic. I made mine fancy. Like I said, the South's Grim Reaper. A little play on the uh, the uh, title Grim Reaper for like death, right? Um, and I said that because this is a contributing factor to the Civil War and how much this thing that we're going about uh, that we're about to learn about in my presentation benefited the south and hurt sorry benefited the north and hurt the south um second one summarize the main idea of your topic like what is it we're learning about number three explain why what we learned about matters and then four connect impact what does this have to do with the civil war so uh first one you can see the south scrim reaper and then i put my um, topic title down there below that. So my topic is actually Cyrus Hall McCormick, um, but I have a fancy title that kind of grabs your attention. <laughs> Slide two. Again, in white, I put my title that's kind of silly. And then next to that, I asked the question of like, what we're going to actually find out. I said horsing around because he invented the horse drawn reaper. So, what made Cyrus Hall McCormick famous? He invented what I just said in 1831. And it was a, and I explained what it is. It's a reaper, um, or a reaper is a machine that harvests grain. And then the next slide I say, why does that matter? I said, well, what are those? So, as in talking about the pictures we've seen, like, what are those? Well, the horse, pull, uh, ho horse pulled reaper. Um, actually allowed farmers to harvest grain 10 times faster. 10 times? Like, so what? Okay, whatever. Well, like, imagine if something that takes you 10 days could take you one. Yeah. So, you know, if you could do all four of these lessons on one day, that's still not as much. We have eight lessons in two weeks. Imagine if you could do those in one day. Still not as impressive. Okay, then it says this allowed more grain to be grown with less reliance on human farm hands. In other words, they didn't have to hire as many people. And that was a big thing for the North. And as you're going to see in the next one, the South didn't have these machines as prominently because they were made in the North. Is this going to be forever? Another meme reference. How did this affect the nation? Impact. So the machines were manufactured in Chicago, the North, and therefore mainly used in the North. Therefore, in the Civil War, when people went to war, losing those farmhands in the South greatly hurt their ability to produce and um, tend to the fields compared to in the North, they already had this awesome farm equipment. So there you go. Slide presentation then. Okay, so as you can see, really simple. I just chose a generic background for my slideshow in Google, and then 
I thought of some fancy meme titles and just threw them up there. And I took information I already had from the questions I had answered. And I just found some information. And sorry, not information, some pictures. And the pictures were the easiest part to find. Literally, all I did was do a search uh, within my Google slideshow by going up to insert image and then search Google. And that was it. So let's make sure that we're not dilly dallying, searching for the perfect picture, or the perfect words, get the picture and information in there and we'll be good to go. As always, this has been Mr. Rock Dashel and well, that is the end of our week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed getting to do a little research for yourself based upon the topic of your choosing and you know what's coming next. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Peace.